What's up world, Mr. Magna Ragnarok here, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. In the last video, we got three stages done. In this video, we're going to get some more progress done, so let's just do that. Now in this stage, Death Chamber, we're actually looking for keys instead of pieces of the Master Emerald this time. Now before we go any further in that room, we want to destroy this box and get a new power up, the Hammer Gloves. Increases your punch attack power. Now you can break iron containers with just a punch. So yeah, those iron cardboard boxes that we've been seeing throughout the game, we can actually break them now with knuckles. Oh, uh, I, I kind of somewhat forgot to mention this, but um, your gliding will actually destroy enemies as well. So that's, that's pretty cool as well. I like how they did that. Now, depending on how long this stage takes me, I'm hoping to get this done in little time. It's close. Huh? Oh, it's close. It's close. Ah, uh, the ghost has it. Aha, there's the first key. Alright, now let's look around for the second key. I believe it may be in here. Uh, camera! Camera! Thank you. The camera is really messing with me in this project. I don't know why. Um, something I forget, something I keep forgetting to point out. Um, also, if these little capsule things, if you dig in the center of them, they'll actually transport you to a new area of this, of the stage. Anyways, uh, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, um, something I keep forgetting to bring up, um, I'm actually let's playing this game on the GameCube version. I'm not doing the Dreamcast version, sorry people, but I'm not. Roasted Keys. And something else, um, the difference between the GameCube version and the Dreamcast version is that, um, in the GameCube, or not GameCube, in the Dreamcast version, um, there is... Well, in every stage, there's actually a reference to Big Cat. And what I mean by that is, well, he's hiding somewhere in every single stage. And that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, he, he, is at le he at least made an appearance in this game, so that's actually pretty cool. How they did that. Okay, now where in the world is the second key? I'm trying, I've been looking for it for a few minutes now, and I don't like that. Oh great, I'm not going to make it to the door, so I might as well just wait. Alright, let me make it, thank you. Okay, um, let me, let me go over here, see what's over here. Whoa, big ghost. Hi. How's it going? Did you know that there are ten animals hidden in this stage? No, I didn't. But thanks for telling me. Alright. Um, what's over here? God damn, where is that second key? Uh, we can try here, I guess? <laughs> okay, now we're getting a blink. Thank you. There it is. It's closer. One more left. Alright, thank God. Seriously, that took like... That took like two minutes. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't have time to read that. Hint. Eh. Uh... I'll find another computer box, see what it has to say. Alright, let's go back in this gigantic room. There is a map that's like above these doors, like right there, but I I prefer to just go by color. I mean, it's easier to me, but oh well, it's here somewhere. Wait. Down here. 
Nah, it's not down here. Alright, well, it is in this room, but the question is, where? Is it up here? Okay, where is it? Alright, what can you tell me? Where the blue flame is? Well, gee, there's a lot of blue flames in here. I wonder which one. to really cut this out if I can't find it. It's close. Oh, well, it's here, but where? There it is. I found him. Okay, well god, that took seven minutes. Ah, man, I hate taking that Not long in a stage. I really, like, at most, I like to get these stages done in five minutes, but seven? God, that's too long. Huh? Who's there? What the? A ghost? This is King Boom Boo. Yes, this is the King of Ghosts and Knuckles' first boss in the game. Alright, now the only way to beat him is to hit that hourglass that that little mini ghost is carrying. But, as you can see, he will follow you, the King Boom Boom will follow you wherever you go. So what you have to do is when he starts, when he's about to shoot his flames, He's about to use his flamethrower. Get right behind him, hit the mini ghost, and the hourglass will activate. And King Boom Boo is afraid of sunlight. So what you have to do is follow his shadow and dig in the ground wherever his shadow is. Track him out and hit him. Dang. I can always hit him at least twice, because you can hit him twice every time you get him. I have done it before. Alright, come on. Come on, King Boo Boo. It takes four hits to kill him, by the way. Alright, hit this hourglass again. Now go back into your shadow, you dirty little ghost. Can I hit him a second time, please? Dang it! Dang it! I was hoping to hit him a second time. By the way, he has a rainbow tongue, if you couldn't tell. Now that is actually a weird attack he does. He tries to eat you. Don't eat me! Well, you've used your fire breath now, thank you. 
And sometimes in this fight, he'll he'll try to fool you and thinking that he will use his fire breath, but then turn around and try to get you the other way. Okay, now let's hit him. There we go, I hit him a second time. That's how you do it. You just gotta get very close to him. That only took three minutes, so that at least made up some time. Anyways, cutscene. <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah. You little thieves! Did you really think you could get out of here alive? Come and get some, Eggman! Sonic! I'm my speed. Just leave it to me! This time, as well as the chaos emerald, I call on you to destroy these pests! Come off my servant! Best song in the game by Eggman, by far, if not in most 3D Sonic games. Anyways, another boss fight, the Egg Golem, basically Eggman's servant. So what you have to do in this fight is that you gotta get right behind him and you see these giant pillars that are sticking out of his back. You have to jump on him and you see these little pillars with the lights on him. You have to homing attack him and then hit that switch that's on top of his head. Let's just call that his brain, okay? Consider that giant remote control thing as his brain. Hit the brain, take it out, you take the egg golem out. And something else about this fight, every time he hits the platforms they actually decrease one level. So, yeah. If he takes out all the platforms, which that's kind of almost impossible unless you're god awful at this game, then you're screwed if he takes out all of them. Because eventually each platform can take I think maybe two hits and the third hit they all go down. And if they get hit a third time, well, you're screwed. Oh yeah, right here, um, when he does this attack, you want to get next to a platform that's already been knocked down. And then essentially you can avoid that attack. But yeah, other than that, this boss fight's really not that hard. It's very easy. It takes four hits to kill him, and yeah, just do what I do and you'll be fine. Anyways, now we get a bigger cutscene. So enjoy. This is the space colony where Eggman is hiding. What? Is everyone all right? We should be oh, landing no. soon. No, the hatch doors don't are open. Sweat it, Knuckles. The only thing in the cargo bay are those what master emeralds. What do you mean, emeralds. don't sweat it? Right? Land the shuttle Knock and off, let Knuckles. me out. We're gonna crash this thing if you keep that up. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! What's up with that knucklehead anyway? Trying to take over the shuttle. I thought we were toast for sure. Huh? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. This place looks deserted. Dusty too. 
This place was shut down about 50 years ago because of a terrible accident. The first Bernoulli spherical space colony, called ARC. When it was operational, it was the most advanced research center of its kind. But looking at it now... Now it's an abandoned ARC, wouldn't you say? There's not much time left before Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah! Someone designed that weapon to be impenetrable from outside attack. Its defense shields are super strong, so we have to find a way to destroy it Isn't inside. Isn't that a chaos, Emerald? It looks like it, doesn't it? But in fact, it's a fake one I created after researching the real Emerald. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. It's designed to reverse the energy field inside the Chaos Emeralds and blow up. It looks so real, even a machine can't tell the difference. I'll find the power supply and destroy it. Sonic, you find the control room, okay? So the plan is, we'll switch the Chaos Emeralds when the machine is stuck, right? Sorry, Amy, but you're useless. Anyways, Eternal Engines, age 13. Alright, but we're going to tackle this in the next video. So, next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, we're going to hopefully get as much progress done as we did in this video. So, see you guys then.